Airbit Club founders, lawyer plead guilty to $100 million fraud scheme The scheme's founders and promoters promised victims their money would be invested in a lucrative mining operation, but instead spent funds on cars, jewelry and luxury homes. Join the most important conversation in crypto and Web3 taking place in Austin, Texas, April 26 to 28. Secure your seat Join the most important conversation in crypto and Web3 taking place in Austin, Texas. April 26 to the 28. Secure your seat. Six executives of the global cryptocurrency Ponzi scheme Airbit Club have pleaded guilty to their roles in the global fraud and money laundering scheme that prosecutors say defrauded victims out of a collective $100 million. Pablo Renato Rodriguez, one of the co-founders of Airbit Club, pleaded guilty on Wednesday. Co-founder Gutenberg Dos Santos pleaded guilty in October 2021 after being extradited to the U.S. from his native country of Panama in November 2020. Three promoters, Cecilia Milan, Karina Chires, and Jackie Aguilar, pleaded guilty earlier this year. Scott Hughes, an attorney who helped Rodriguez and Dos Santos launder money, pleaded guilty on March 2. Airbit Club was a global scam in which promoters hosted lavish expos and community presentations throughout the U.S. Asia, Latin America, and Eastern Europe, and convinced victims to invest in memberships that purported to yield returns generated through Bitcoin mining and trading. Victims could view their balances on an online portal but the numbers were fake and they could not withdraw funds. According to prosecutors, victims' funds were instead spent on enriching the club's founders and promoters, who follow the URL for the full article. For more on this story, visit the news article link.